Hey everybody, it's Mr. Marshall at Stony Lane. Um, did this ever happen to you that you're trying to figure out how old a person or a thing might be, right? Like you might know what year the person was born or you might know what year the thing was made, like a book or a building was built um, and you're trying to figure it out in your head, like how that, how that works. Right. So I'm going to show you some ways that you can figure that out. OK, so like for me, I know that my I have four kids and my oldest is my son and he was born in the year 2009. OK, so one way that we can figure this out is we can do some subtracting. Right. Um, so watch. First, I'm going to put the year that we're in right now, which is 2021. OK. And I'm going to put 2009 underneath and I'm going to subtract. Watch, that's a lot of like columns there, right? I can take a look at the century, which is the first two numbers. It's 20 here and it's 20 here. And if I see that that's the same thing, I can just cross it out. Okay. And pretend that it's not there. And then all I have to subtract is 21 minus nine. Right. And if I do that, I know that my answer is, you know what it is, right? If you know it, whisper it. Ready? It's 12. Did you know that? 21 minus 9, 9 is 12. So I know that he's 12 years old. Okay, it was just his birthday and he just turned 12. Okay, so, but what about if you're talking to someone and they were born instead of the year 2000 something, they were born in the year 19 something, right? Lots of grown ups were born in the year 19 something. Or maybe a book was written in the year 19 something. So let's figure that out. Ready? So if you're reading a book or you're talking to your uncle or something, let's say we're reading a book and the book was written in the year 1995. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Let's put the year down 2021 because that's the year we're in right now. And let's subtract. Let's check our century. Ready? 20, 19, two different centuries. So that's not going to work. I can't cross out. Okay, so let's figure this out. We can do what we learned in another lesson, maybe when you were younger. We're going to draw a hill. Okay? And on this side of the hill, we're going to put the year we're in right now, which is 2021. And then at the bottom of this side, we're going to put 1995. And on the top, we're always, always, always going to put 2000 because we can use 2000 to figure it out. Okay. So I know from 2000 to 2021 is 21. Like I can always remember that. Okay. It's always just the last two numbers of the year that we're in. Okay. And to get from 1995 to 2000, well, there's lots of ways I can do that. I can count up by ones. I can count up by fives or maybe by tens if it's that kind of number. But let's count up by ones right now. 1996, 97, 98, 99, 2000. That's five years. Five on this side, 21 on this side. So I add these two numbers up. That book is 26 years old. Or my uncle is 26 years old. Okay. Do you see how we did that? I'm going to show you one more way, right? Let's say that it was longer ago. Like, let's say your grandmother, you found out that your grandmother was born in the year um, 1948. Whoa, 1948. So that might be harder to count up by ones. So let's draw a hill, just like we did in the other problem. We're going to put 2021 on this side because that's the year we're in now. We're going to put 1948 on this side because that's the year that your grandmother was born. And we're going to put what number up here? That's right, 2000. So we know on this side, that's easy, right? It's 21. But on this side, here's what we can do. We can count to the nearest 10. Ready? So we're not going to say 1948. We're going to start with the next year, 1949. 1950. That's two. That's two. And now we're going to count up the tens. Ready? We're at 1950. 
1960, 1970, 1980, 1990, 2000. We're going to count to 2000. So we had five tens there. That's 50. And we had two. Don't forget the two. So that means that on this side, we have 52, 52. So then we can add up 52 plus 21. 52 plus 21. And maybe you can do this in your head, or maybe you want to write it down. But we find out that the answer is 73. That means that your grandmother is 73 years old. But you should still tell her she looks like she's 31. Okay, because grandma's like that. Okay, so that's how you can use the Hill method, or you can use subtracting by checking your century box um, to figure out how old a person or a thing or maybe a place could be. So why don't you try that, and I'll see you next time.